With KMZU News, I'm Sandra Calhurd. A person was trapped today after a 10-foot trench collapsed in a new housing development in the northern part of Kansas City. Authorities say the emergency call came in around 12.40 a.m. Nathan Dugan, a supervisor for the Metropolitan Ambulance Services Trust, said he didn't know the name of the trapped person or whether the individual was a construction worker. The owner of a medical supply business was sentenced in federal court for his role in a scheme to defraud Medicare of millions of dollars through a program that provides motorized wheelchairs to patients. Kennedy Igbakwi, 29, a citizen of Nigeria, was sentenced by U.S. District Judge Gary A. Fenner this morning to five years and three months in federal prison without parole. The court also ordered Igbakwi to pay $750,000 in restitution and forfeit to the government $500,000 in and all the funds in a bank account. Schlossman noted that today's sentence is the harshest penalty provided under the federal sentencing guidelines. Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill says she's getting tough on wasteful spending in Washington. McCaskill, Missouri State Auditor before she was elected to Senate in November, says the key issue for her is accountability. Why aren't the people that make these mistakes and cost taxpayers all this money why are, is there no accountability? Why is there no discipline? Why doesn't anybody lose their job? McCaskill has recently questioned the secretaries of defense and homeland security, along with military officials and federal auditors, about auditing procedures and what she calls abusive spending practices. She's critical of several defense department practices, including what she estimates to be more than $100 billion in purchases without competitive bidding. That's news on KMCU. I'm Sandra Calhurd for 100.7 The Farm. With your KRLI financial update, I'm Sandra Cowherd. Stocks turned in a mixed showing today with the Dow Industrials closed, losing ground after four straight record high closes. The blue chip index finished with a loss of 48 points at 12,738. Declining issues on the New York Stock Exchange led gainers 6 to 5 on volume of about 2.5 billion shares. NASDAQ Composite Index was up 5 points at the 2,518 level with roughly 2 billion shares traded. And the S&P 500 dropped two points, closing at 1,457. That's your KRLI Financial Update. I'm Sandra Cowherd.